U.S. long-range missiles shipped to Ukraine will cause Putin problems in war. Long-range ballistic missiles secretly shipped to Ukraine and which are included in the 61 billion U.S. dollar aid package will cause Putin problems in his war, having already been used to strike Russian targets in occupied territory, according to iNews media outlet. Jake Sullivan, the White House National Security Advisor, confirmed that the U.S. had already provided Army Tactical Missile Systems, ATACMS, to Ukraine, following earlier reports that the U.S. had sent them in secret last month. Ukraine fired the long-range ballistic missiles at a Russian military airfield in occupied Crimea last week and at Russian troops in another occupied area this week. Justin Crump, a former British Army officer who runs risk intelligence company Sibyline told iNews, These systems are tactical ballistic, which are designed to strike well behind the battlefield against air defense locations, troops or enemy equipment with a precise, impactful punch. This will create a major problem for Russia. Anything from 300 kilometers within the front line is a potential target. Russia will have to defend a much larger area with their own air defense system, he added. However, questions remain as to whether the U.S. will grant Ukraine permission to use the missiles against Russian territory, with some officials concerned that firing missiles into Russia risks escalating the war. Crump said the caveat over this may be that they cannot be used against Russia inside their own territory, but that this would be likely to remain private to keep the Russians guessing. According to the bill, the transfer of long-range ATA CMS is to take place soon as practicable to assist the government of Ukraine in defending itself and achieving victory against the Russian Federation. While the text remains ambiguous as to whether Ukraine can strike inside territory, Lawrence Friedman, a professor of war studies at King's College London, told iNews he expected Ukrainians would agree not to use ATA CMS missiles against Russian territory, adding that President Biden had been nervous about sending them in the past. Admiral Christopher Grady, vice chairman of the U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff, said the White House and military planners had examined the risks of providing long-range missiles to Ukraine and determined that now the time is right. The missiles would help Ukraine take out Russian logistics nodes and troop concentrations that are far behind the front lines, he added. Russians would take years to capture Kharkiv, Ukraine's National Guard chief. The Russians may attempt to conquer Kharkiv, but they will fail because it will cost significant resources and time. Brigadier General Oleksandr Pivnenko, commander of the National Guard of Ukraine, said this in an interview with Liga media outlet. They can try to conquer Kharkiv, but it won't work. They can only act conventionally, two or three fronts, as distractions, one primary. However, in the case of Kharkiv, this approach will be difficult because attempts to damage essential and civilian infrastructure will persist. They'll have to struggle for years to seize Kharkiv. Consider how long Bakhmut and Avdiivka held. It is easier for the Russians to change the leadership of the Russian Federation and forsake their goals than to conquer the city, resulting in the deaths of thousands more soldiers. Commenting on the new possible summer offensive of the Russians, Pivnenko assured that it will not achieve its goal, Pivnenko said. Russia will not be able to take either Zaporizhia or Kharkiv. Even if they try something in the direction of Kyiv, that's just for show. Although I expect some difficulties. There will be an onslaught. They will try to move forward where they can, he added. Recently, the Financial Times, citing Ukrainian and Western officials, wrote that Russia may be gearing up for a large-scale offensive in late spring or summer, intending to seize more territory in Donetsk, Kherson, Luhansk and Zaporizhia oblasts. In March 2024, the Center for Countering Disinformation at Ukraine's National Security and Defense Council noted that the information about Russian forces preparing to launch an offensive on the city of Kharkiv is part of Russia's propaganda of fear campaign and is not true. Soldiers of the invading Russian army have shot own fellow soldiers from another military unit in Okratino settlement near the city of Avdiivka in Ukraine's Donetsk region. The incident occurred as Russian invaders mistook their fellow soldiers for the soldiers of the Russian Volunteer Corps fighting within the Ukrainian army. The incident that took place on April 7 was publicized by relatives of the killed servicemen, after which the report was circulated on Telegram channels. Entering the position, Russian soldiers immediately opened fire without clarifying the identity of the soldiers standing in front of them. Then they took pictures of the killed soldiers, describing them as enemies. 
The review of the documents belonging to the soldiers revealed that those killed were soldiers of the Russian army.